Hello, I'm Jamie Thomas, and I'm here to talk about my setup. I ride anywhere from an 8.4 to 8.6 board, medium concave. This is a resin 7 board. I also ride the zero impact boards, but this one's a resin 7. Lately, I've been trying to ride a different shape each board I set up. This is my like shape that I rode for years. This is an 8.4 or 8375 kind of traditional popsicle stick board. It's got a six and seven eighths inch tail, seven and eighth inch nose. I like a really big nose and tail, 32 inches long. And then right now I'm riding this like egg, 90s egg shape board. I like to try and do grip different every time as well. I don't know, I just like to try and keep my setups exciting so I'm like hyped on skating them. My buddy made this for me, his name's Kurt. He made this uh, minor threat grip. Minor threat was my favorite band when I was a kid. One of my all time favorites, so. I get hyped looking down at my grip and seeing my favorite stuff on there. And then I ride Thunder 151 trucks, Thunder Highs. They don't make 151s and lows, but I ride 151s. Um, they're like eight and a half inches, so they fit perfect for these boards. I ride uh, Bone Swiss bearings. Uh, I ride the same set for about a year, maybe longer. It lasts forever. These are 53 millimeter uh, test wheels. Um, and then these ones are 52 millimeter Spitfire Formula 4s. I like colored wheels, or I like something to be different about every setup that I ride. Um, these ones are green. I, I just like my setup to be fun and feel like I should have a good time. When I look at it, I'm like, okay, I, I should be having fun. And if I'm not having a good day, then when I look at a fun setup, it makes me feel better. Um, this is three white wheels and one blue one. I don't really know why, I just thought that I wanted to do that. I ride my trucks medium loose. I ride mob grip tape. It's the best. I think everybody knows that. Yeah, I ride graphics on all my grip just to keep it interesting. Yeah, that's pretty much my setup. I ride zero hardware. It's been around forever. I just ride the same stuff. I usually do a similar sticker setup every time. The bone sticker always goes in the same spot, and then the fallen sticker always goes on the nose, and then I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of rearrange the others depending on what the stickers look like, but I try and keep them around the truck so the stickers last for a while. When I put a new board together, whatever graphic it is, I cover it in a way that I think the stickers are going to complement the graphic and still look cool. You know, I think it's cool if you have a photo, you can still make out the graphic, so I try and keep that in mind, but I don't put too much thought into it. I just kind of look at it and go, oh, this sticker should go there, this sticker should go there. Sometimes I spend more time on it and I put stickers under, underneath the grip and you can see them between it, but I don't know, I don't always have time for that, so. Yeah, so that's my setup. You can get all this stuff, I think, besides this experimental board at ActiveRideShop.com. Thanks for listening, peace.